yeah, it's 9-11. Mm -hmm. You know, that reminds me of an incident that happened in 2001. Yeah. Uh, where they started the Homeland Security in 2003. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the, the uh, World Trade Center? There was a bombing that took place there. Yeah. Well, I'd like to know what Rockefeller knows and... There was a time when I thought he was the bee on me, and I said, well, why don't you tell me all the plans that you have for the world, and he disagreed at that time, but I thought, no, <laughs> I'd like to know all your plans, your plans for the continuation of the government, yeah, the plans for the population, exactly what you plan to do with them, mm -hmm. now, could you get me all the, the members of the National Academy of Sciences, yeah, and then the toxicology programs of each and every nation of the world. I'd just like to know who's employed at the National Academy of Sciences and all those that participate in the science of this nation. Yeah. And then any reported toxicology. Now, as I understand toxicology, it has to do with toxic substances. Yeah. Considering Rockefeller's already dead and his brain is on a supercomputer. Mm-hmm. Could you get me all the plans that the Rockefeller family has for humanity? This United Nations that I'm needing to contact? Yes. So as to divorce my wife because you issued a dissolution of marriage. I'm going to want to know what their plans are for the population. Yeah. Now, photo ionization detector. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I got a lot of these detectors. Yeah. Um. What is that? Photo ionization detector. Mm -hmm. Then there's the provisional maximum uh, tolerable daily intake, the PMTDI. Yeah. What is the maximum tolerable amount of radiation that you can put into the body of a citizen? Then the provision, uh, provisional tolerable daily intake of any and all toxic substances that <laughs> you as a family thought, well, we're going to have to kill them off because we're making ant colonies from our own eggs. Yes. <laughs> then there's the quantitative micro or microbial risk assessment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, there's probably some bacterial bacteria in the water. Yeah. Just call uh, Rockefeller's brain and find out exactly what his plan is. Poo, 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 poo. Now, this Dutch National Institute of Public Health and Environmental Protection, yeah. It seems that a lot of these European nations, they've been participating in what the United Nations is doing, and many of those nations have adopted the international standards, uh, organization, standardization of the manufacture and sale of all of the items that are imported or exported from any nation of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we look through every nation that thought they were going ISO standard when I, as an American citizen, thought it was completely unnecessary. <laughs> Just call the Dutch. Is it uh, Holland and the Netherlands? Or, you know, it's a confusing thing. It's something that when I think about it, yeah. I actually spent a little time in uh, Amsterdam and Rotterdam when I was an exchange student on my way to Denmark. Yes. Very interesting. They have uh, legalized hashish for approximately the last 50 years. Where are they buying their hash from? Pooh. You know that derivative of marijuana? Yeah. Why don't we sell hashish instead of marijuana in the United States of America? Pooh. I'd like to know, can they import it or export it? Yes. As I understand it, hashish is an actual derivative of the marijuana plant. There's three variations of marijuana. <clears throat> and uh, when I think about my personal experiences in Rotterdam, yeah, uh, it was kind of weird, okay, walking into a hashish bar similar to walking into a pot store in the United States and saying, well, I'd like to have that flavor of marijuana. <laughs> now, uh, why don't we call the Dutch? <laughs> And uh, find out how their environmental protections are going. Yeah. And then the System International de Units, uh, the International System of Units. Mm -hmm. I had read an article recently that um, somebody had designed uh, the kilogram or the milligram or some some one of these uh, metric systems. Yes. 
And it used to be it was a certain amount of platinum and plutonium or some other metal or I don't know exactly how they do it. But the French used to have the metric system of weights and measures. Mm -hmm. Well, they redesigned the whole thing using some sort of standardization. Yeah. Could you go through the nations that use the metric system, the kilogram system, and <laughs> all the standardization of the measurement of the system of units? Yes. And find out, have they adjusted the measurement of the gram, kilogram, mm -hmm, milligram, or any of the other grams known as the metric system? Yes. Now, any time they change one of these standard uh, systems of units? Yeah. I'd like to know about it. <laughs> I know we stayed with inches. Isn't that right? 12 inches to a foot. Mm. Mm. Then how many feet to a yard? Ouch, three of them. Mm -hmm. And how many yards to a football field? A hundred of them. Yeah. Now, when you think about the American uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, a way of uh, measuring, yeah. The pint, the quart, and the gallon. Yes, yes, yes. The cup, the teaspoon, and the tablespoon. <laughs> Then there's the tumorigenic uh, dose. Uh huh. Uh huh. Exposure associated with five percent excess. Mm -hmm. Incident of tumors in experimental studies in animals. Yeah. You know, I like to know all of those that are experimenting on animals and exactly what animals they're experimenting on. Yeah. I think. Uh. Well, is that right, mouse? Pooch. Rat. Poop. Chimpanzee. Mm. You know, we never really know exactly uh, these doses and um, how they're using the international uh, system of measuring. Yeah. Let's say you shot some substance into a, oh, a rhinoceros. Exactly what does that do? <laughs> then there's the thermal ionization detector, another one of these detectors. Now, the United Nations Children Fund, yes, mm -hmm. I'd like to know uh, exactly how much money they have. Mm -hmm. United Nations Scientific Committee on the Effects of Atomic Radiation. Mm -hmm. How much radiation should we be having? Oh. Then there's the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Now, that's an independent nation, or are we one of these that are going global with all of our international standards? <laughs> United States Environmental Protection Agency. Mm -hmm. I told you about the wind scrubber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought we could get rid of 80% of those employees. <laughs> How many of them are employed during the government shutdown? And <laughs> Is there any reason we should continue to protect the environment when we haven't appropriated the necessary amounts of money for, well, the archives, let's say. <sighs> mm -hmm. Then there's that ultraviolet. Yeah. Another one of these detectors. <clears throat> You know, when you think about black light, how in the 60s and 70s, they used to have these velvet pictures that were made with a type of fluorescent paint. Yeah. And you could use ultraviolet light to see um, the, well, it was kind of like the hallucinogenic effect of the, the groovy years of the 1960s and 70s. <laughs> I just want to know this ultraviolet light. Yeah. Why don't you get me all these photodiode array detectors of all the ultraviolet light that could be the black light? <laughs> I know it's a problem, but I'd like to know. <laughs> now, the pesticide evaluation scheme, there's that word again, a scheme, mm -hmm. a deceit, a trickery. <laughs> Why don't we go through the World Health, uh, whole, whole, World Health Organization and just find out who's there and how do they get all this technology and where do they buy it from? And <laughs> I'd like to know the water quality throughout the world. Mm -hmm. Now, the guidelines for drinking water quality, I thought, okay, if I was desalinating salt water at approximately, well, 400 to 4,000 degrees, yeah, it would get rid of the salt content and there would be no impurities. Poop. Now, uh, the evaluation of the H2S method for detection of fecal contamination of drinking water. Yeah. How much shit is there in the water? Because when you really think about it, fecal matter is a nice way of saying shit. <laughs> now, I know we've got fecal contamination. Somebody leaked in a large amount of human deficit. But I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I know. <laughs> the method for detection of fecal contamination of drinking water. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, a guide to ship sanitation. Yeah. The Geneva World Health Organization poach. You know, I emailed the Swiss <clears throat> in Switzerland. Yeah. In Geneva. <laughs> Could you get me the employees of the actual government of Switzerland that receives any emails from me about the United States? <laughs> Seems that Geneva is very important to the European Union. Now, I thought I could sue Switzerland yes, for not enforcing international conventions of the United Nations. <laughs> For not enforcing international treaties, conventions, and agreements of Switzerland and the rest of the European Union? Yeah. Let's say you're an employee of Switzerland. You're working there in Geneva. <laughs> and for some reason, you get a, a lawsuit. Oh, look at radioactivity in the water supplies, a journal of the Institutional Water and Environmental Management. <laughs> Sounds like the kind of journal I would want to subscribe to. <laughs> Could you get me all those journals of the institution? Yeah, just put it in quotations. I'd like to know every scientist of the world. 